In this video, we're going to be looking at this machine here. It is a Soval SV05. It is an Ender 5 clone, uh, maybe an Ender 5 Pro clone, as it does have a direct drive on it. Pretty much a identical piece of machinery, but we're going to go over it real fast, uh, see how it prints, and see what we think. So welcome to the channel, and let's get started. This is the motherboard for the SV05. As you can see, it's a Creality 422, very standard motherboard, um, and thousands of Ender products. All pretty standard. As you can see, they did cap, crimp the uh, ends of their wires, which is nice. Um, I'm really happy with Soval overall. They, they seem to do a pretty good job. But not a whole lot here, you know, pretty standard stuff. One thing to note is that the drivers are mounted to the board. So if there's a problem with the driver, you're going to have to replace it. This is the screen for the SV05. Um, it's pretty standard, you know, text-based LCD. Um, lots of people complain about these things. I don't know why. I happen to like them. They're really simple. They're really cheap. Uh, and they get the job done. More importantly though, they support Clipper, which is really nice. But something else I'll show you while I'm here and about, we're running Marlin 2092. This is their latest firmware. The SV05 does have a tensioner on the X axis but the y-axis is mechanical. You'll have to loosen these three screws, this bottom one here, and then these top two, and then pull the entire assembly forward. And that's how you tension this. You need to do it on both sides and get them about the same. Talking about the y-axis, this is the y-motor. It's interesting because it has a through axle, and you can see that there are two couplers on each side, and just a single motor. You want, when you tension these, you want them to be as close to the same as possible so you don't have any torsioning effect. These are the frame supports for the bed on the SVO5. They're injection molded plastic. It's one on the left one on the right, and they just slot right into the metal frame. It actually keeps it pretty rigid. I was actually surprised at how well it works. I don't think there's any lean or anything. This is the back of those supports. It's secured by these four screws that go up and down on these linear rods. Like I said, they're really holding on. So, I mean, I don't think the bed's going to go anywhere. You do need to lubricate these rods. It's just periodic maintenance. Very light coating of grease. Super lube. This is our anti-backlash nut. Made out of brass. There's no wobble in it right now. This is the reverse Bowden setup on the SV05. Load your filament into it and it goes all the way up to your extruder. Move this lever to feed it in. The lever itself doesn't really move when there's filament loaded. This is the tension screw, which is kind of a pain. Um, I had a big problem getting this set correctly. Um, once you get it set, it's kind of set and forget, but actually getting it tensioned correctly was kind of a pain. I'll talk a little bit about that later. The SV05 does have a bed probe. This is a CR touch. This is the front side of your extruder and the uh, tensioning knob I was mentioning a second ago. My biggest gripe with this machine is its wire management. This is a track 
conduit that comes with the machine. Your wires run through there and then into this mess. They have a clip that they give you. It would have been nice had Sobel taken the opportunity to actually correct this problem that the Ender 5 also has, but they did not. I mean, once you get it in there and you get it all hooked in and tied, it really isn't that bad in some places, maybe. But it's it could have been done much better, I think. Uh, here's the bed. You know, the bed wires have zero strain relief. Um, they're just hanging there off their solder points. And I mean, your, your bed isn't moving a lot here because, you know, it just goes up and down, but still that that should not have come out that way. So moving on to prints, this is the cube that comes on the SD card. There's no slicing done. It was pre-sliced. So now that this cube is done, let's take a look at it. See what our first print looks like. Um, they have a weird kind of skirt on here. Get that off. It doesn't look great. Um, this is using the provided white filament that comes with it. Um, it doesn't look too bad uh, I mean again this there's no tuning done here whatsoever this is just sliced as it comes and using the printer basically just assembled um, there's some definite lines yeah this doesn't look too great not too happy with how this one turned out but let's give the benchy a try and see how that one looks So here's the pre-sliced Benchy. It looks much better than the cube did. I don't know if there was something else going on or what, but the cube did not look too great. This also has that little skirt. Not quite sure what that's all about. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Try and get it into focus. Yeah, this turned out much better than the, the cube did. I'm pretty happy with this. There's a couple of little defects on the hull. But again, this is just put it together, put filament in it, and hit print. So I think it turned out okay. All things considered. Can't really read the writing on the back there. That's okay. I'm happy with it. All right, so let's move on to slicing some stuff. Okay, so I'm in Cura. This is 530. And this is the Cali Dragon model. I'm using the Ender 5 profile built in with Cura. I did change the retraction settings because the Ender 5 doesn't have a direct drive. But other than that, it's the exact same profile. So let's slice this. Let's save it and let's print it.
Okay, so here's our end result. It looks pretty good. Got a bit of stringing. And again, there's there's not really been a lot of tuning here. This is pretty much just using the Ender 5 profile. You can see the stringing there between the antlers. And that's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um, the overall model itself, I would say, looks really good. Especially considering there's no actual tuning. Again, this is using the Ender 5 profile inside Akira. With different retraction settings. I'm very happy with how this turned out though. Really good definition on the scales. Okay, so now we have the Cali Cat that we're going to slice up. Again, using the Ender 5 profile that we created a second ago. Let's see how this guy turns out. Okay, this model is done. It also looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. And the layer lines look pretty good. Everything's very sharp. Look at that tail, the ears. Now again, with, you know, just using a base profile, I'm super happy with how this came out. Get a little bit of tuning in it and this thing will be awesome. All right, let's try something a little harder. So this is a fan shroud for the SVO5 that you can go and grab off of Thingiverse or printables. Uh, it has a dual sided, still a single fan, but it just splits the air so you get it on both sides. This one should be kind of interesting to see how things work out. I'm going to turn on supports and do tree. Slice it and then do a preview of how this is going to look. Yeah, this should be a bit more difficult of a print. Okay, and then we will give this a go and see how the SVO5 makes out. Okay, um, this actually looks pretty good. It's really stuck there. You can see our tree supports worked out really well. A little bit of stringing. And again, I mean, this. there's been zero tuning to this machine just using this stock profile that was in a Cura for the Ender 5. Get this piece out of here. Oh. So let me do a little bit of cleanup on this because I've got some tree supports I've got to get out of the main body. Let me go do that. 
but all in all it looks really well really well so I've gotten everything cleaned up now all of the tree supports are removed from the actual branches the nozzle ends I'm really happy with how this turned out I'll do another video comparing the stock fan shroud with this fan shroud at some point and uh, stay tuned for that final thoughts I like it um, the Sobel SVO5 seems like a nice printer at this point um, you can see it, it prints really well especially considering it's stock with zero tuning but you know it could probably print a lot better once I actually tune it my dislikes on this printer though is the wire management I'm not a fan of how they've done the wires it's the same way on the Ender 5 you would think that Sobel would have taken the opportunity to correct that problem especially with the wires coming off of the bed they need to have some type of support there um, and they don't some type of strain relief the other problem I've had is with the extruder um, I actually had two clogs with this extruder when I first started printing with it because the tension wasn't set correctly and, and it's kind of a pain to get that tension set correctly once I did though I haven't had any problems since so you know that's a mileage may vary type situation anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and happy printing